Hello everyone, I'm Coach Elvira and I'm Rina and welcome to the first lesson of uh, Kim Grant Tennis Academy online lessons. So today we're going to focus on uh, speed and agility and forehand. For this we will need some uh, we will need some cones, some markers. If you don't have cones, it's okay. You can use water bottles, any small objects. And you're gonna need a tennis racket. And you're gonna need a water bottle to drink some water. And today I'm gonna be demonstrating and I'm gonna be doing it with you guys. So uh, if you're not sure how to do something, just uh, look how I'm doing it and listen to the coach. Um, also, make sure that you're wearing proper tennis shoes. Uh, no running shoes, uh, don't sleep don't uh, fall and let's start it here we go okay we, every single lesson we're gonna start with the warm-up this lesson is not an exception and the first very exercise is gonna be a run on the same spot here we go we're gonna go for 30 seconds ready and go here we go make sure that your knees are soft you're landing on the front part of your shoes your heels are off the ground you're not slamming the floor very very easy and no rush at all, we're just warming up, we're just moving the blood through our body and take it easy. Make sure your back is straight, make sure your core is involved. You can use your arms as well. Chin not down, chin looking up. Okay, we've got two seconds left. Two, one, done. Okay, next one. You will need some space from for it. You will jump from side to side. Depending on how much space you have, you can jump a little bit further. But again, make sure that your knees are very soft and you're pushing the ground so the ground can push you back. And from right to left, right to left. In sort of a rainbow shape, this is a very tennis related uh, exercise. You do it a lot, a lot when you're changing the direction in between the shots. So for example, you're coming from the forehand and you're about to do the backhand. Okay, next exercise is gonna be high knees. Okay, so I'm gonna say stop and Coach Rina is gonna pause. So she's gonna pause on every third knee. So one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. You've got five more seconds left. And soft knees, back straight, chin up. Okay, relax your shoulders. And the next one is gonna be a skip and kick. We also call it Russian dance. That's Rina's favorite exercise, or you can call it kan kan. It used to be a dance like this. So you're just kicking the leg in front of you again, soft landing, controlling the leg, not just on the way up, but also on the way down. Involve your arms, chin up, core involved, and you can do it a little bit faster if you can, a little bit slower if you need to. Just two seconds. Two, one. Okay, so the butt kicks, very easy. Everyone knows how to do it. Don't slack off. Make sure that your heels are going all the way to the butt. Yep, and you can do it again. A little bit faster, a little bit slower. Make sure that your knees are not in front of you and you're not doing this, but actually you're creating one line with your whole body and your quads. Okay, we've got four seconds left. Four, three, two, one, go okay we just did the dynamic uh, exercises we're gonna go into stretching make sure that you stretch before every single practice so we're gonna start with flamingo everybody knows how to do it nothing fancy try to uh, find the balance you can involve your arm you can keep it right in front of you or you can keep uh, uh, on some uh, put your arm on something and just keep the balance that way Make sure that you feel the stretch and it shouldn't be painful at all. Okay, switch legs. Try another one. If you want to extend your back just a little bit, you might involve the hip flexors and stretch them out as well. Okay, we've got five more seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, the next one is going to be a lounge stretching. So bring your left arm or leg in front, right one goes behind. And make sure that you create the right angle with your leg, with your left leg, with your right leg. You can put your knee all the way on the ground if you can. You can keep it up in the ear, that's fine. But just make sure that you feel the stretching in the hip flexors, in those 
squats, you can bring your arm up and kind of lean on the side to feel that stretch it even more and stay in this position for as long as you want. Okay, switch legs. So definitely you can pause any exercise on at any second during the video and do the exercise for as long as you can or for as long as you want. So for example, if you want to stretch a little bit more, feel free to pause and do it for, for a couple minutes at least. Okay. Okay. And the last exercise we're going to do for back stretching. Easy. Make sure that you feel stretching in your calves, in your hamstrings, in your lower back. Lower back is a very common spot in the body that gets injured a lot in tennis players because of a lot of hip movements. So make sure you pay very close attention to those muscles over there. You can involve a little bouncy motions and kind of bounce down. And five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Okay, so as we said before in introduction, every single lesson is gonna be divided in two parts, fitness and uh, tennis related. So fitness exercises today are gonna be dedicated to speed and agility. And uh, definitely take a water break. So Rena just took a sip of water. Uh, stay hydrated, pause the video, take a couple sips of water. And we're gonna start literally in a couple seconds with the first exercise that works on the explosiveness. You know how to do it? Do not slack off. I know there is a big temptation over there. Kangaroo jumps. Okay, we're gonna start in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, let's do it. Okay, and we're gonna go for 30 seconds. High knees, knees are going up to chest. Try not to stop in between the jumps. I know a lot of times we do a jump and then stop or do a double jump or something like this. Nope. So look at how Rina does it. So Rina doesn't stop in between the jumps. We're gonna go for another five seconds. Five seconds, you got it. Stay focused. Bring those knees up to the chest and stay very soft. Done. Awesome job. Go, okay, so 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Get your rest right now because the next exercise is gonna be spider mom jumps. So, Irina is gonna demonstrate how to do them, but you're gonna start with leaning over to your, with your left arm to your right foot in a lunge position. And then you do, gonna do two shuffles and do the opposite one. Two shuffles, two shuffles and lean over. Okay, we're gonna start in three seconds. Three, two, one, go. And lean and shuffle. You can stay low like Rina does. She stays very low throughout the shuffles. And then she bends over and touches the ground. Faster you do it, more efficient it is, but never sacrifice the quality over quantity. So if you don't do it properly, it doesn't matter how many you did, it's just not gonna work, right? Or you're gonna injure yourself, you don't want that. So we got four more seconds, four, three, two, one, awesome, yes. Okay, that was a really hard exercise and Rina did really well. Okay, the next one is gonna be the impulse and reverse. You will need a little bit of space of that for, for this exercise. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna do the split step and you're gonna impulse, like almost like you're running for the drop shot or something. Fast speed, impulse, jump, get back. Impulse, reverse, back paddling. Split step, impulse, get back. Okay, we're gonna start in three, two, one, and go. Here we go. Split step, impulse, get back. Split step, impulse, get back. We are gonna do this for 30 seconds and almost 20 seconds left. You're doing great. Make sure that you involve that dominant leg that pushes you off the ground. Every sprint you start like this, so this is a great exercise to work on that first step of the sprint. We got three more seconds. Three, two, one. Awesome job. Okay, the last exercise for this set is gonna be the lava floor. So we did this exercise before, so you're gonna do fast feet, stop, fast feet, stop. This is an awesome exercise. And if you wanna make it a little bit harder, you're gonna go from side to side. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Just depends on how much space you have. Okay, we're gonna start in three, two, one, 
Go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, make sure that you have high knees and go. Again, this is a really good exercise for the change of the direction, for the split step, so you can have a good coordination and body awareness of what your legs are doing when you change the direction right before that split step. We're gonna go for another 10 seconds. And here we go, soft power pad. So I call the power pad this part of your shoe. And we're gonna go for two seconds and done. Here we go, we've got 30 seconds. Okay, so we just did the first set, we're gonna go twice and we're gonna repeat the same exercises and we're gonna go, yes, you've got a minute break right now, so get a sip of water. We're gonna, again, as I said, we're gonna repeat the same exercises and right now, so you could more focus on the efficiency, try not to think that much of how you do it, but how fast you do it, because we already did the first set, you did it, that was a trial set, you already know how to do it, your body knows how to do it, so focus and make it as efficient as possible. We've got 20 seconds left, and here we go. Okay, so definitely throughout this lecture, your, um, the fitness part is the most, uh, is the hardest one, but during the tennis drills, you will, you will focus more on the technique. Right now you will focus more on the involving those muscles and getting it as this practice as hard as possible. So you can just adjust how we work. Okay, so ready? And again, we're gonna start with kangaroo jumps. Okay, let's go, come and on three, everybody, keep pushing. Two, one, go. Here we go. Here we go. And Yes, high knees, soft pads. Try not to put the heels on the ground. Try to push off the ground as fast as you can. Gotcha. You're gonna go for five seconds. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Here we go. The next exercise is a Spider-Man spider jump. And again, shuffle, shuffle, lean over. Shuffle, shuffle, lean over. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. We go. We've got ten more seconds of rest. Here we go. And we're gonna start with the Spider-Man jumps in three, two, one, go. Again, lean over. Make sure you shuffle in between. And go. You can make it as fast as you want. Take it easy if you need. Stay tall in between the lean overs. Your back is straight, core involved. Chin is a little bit up, not completely down. So don't shrug your shoulders too much. Make sure that they are relaxed and you're only involving your lower body. We're gonna stop in two, one, done. Okay, awesome, here we go. And the next one is gonna be impulse and reverse, as we said, good one for the first step of the, uh, or the, first step of the sprint. So many runners do this exercise a lot. So again, you can make it a little bit harder. You can make a split step and then one, two, and then get back. Split step, one, two, get back. Make sure that those who are running to the right first, make a step with your right, left, get back. Here, left, right, get back, okay. And we're gonna start in three, two, one, go. And right, left, left, right, here we go. Right, left, left, right, awesome, here we go. That really sets you up for reaching for the furthest shot because depending on, the, on where you go, you use different legs and this should happen automatically. Here we go. And two, one, done. Woo. Yes, okay. So the last one is gonna be lava floor. Again, high knees. High knees, stop. High knees, pause. High knees, pause. Okay, take a sip of water if you need to. Those are really hard exercises that go in a row pretty fast. So, again, harder you wanna make it, further make those steps. Okay, ready? You're gonna start in one second and go. And go. Okay, make two, in two steps in between and awesome job. 
Yes, make sure again that your shoe or your knees are very soft. No one can hear you at all. Yes, he's our knees, heels are off the floor. Involve your arms as well. And we're gonna go for another three seconds. Three, two, one, stop. Oh, good job. Okay, perfect job. We are done with the fitness part of this lesson. You're gonna have a minute of the water break. During this time, I'm gonna cover the basics of the forehand. If you don't remember them or if you just need a little reminder, pay attention. Okay. So we're gonna, as I said, focus on forehand only. So the very first one, everyone knows footstep, very efficient part of the shot. You need to bring your knees, shoulder apart, and scoot step. Okay, the next one is gonna be turn. It's a, called a uni turn, where you turn your whole body and your toes start pointing to that direction, to, to the side. So again, uni turn, full turn. When you're making a uni turn, imagine that you're hugging the tree and your left arm is helping to hold the racket. It's not the right arm's job to hold the racket. Again, split step, turn. And my left one holds the racket right now, under the neck, under the throat of the racket. Again, split step, turn. Split step, turn. Okay, the next part is gonna be a full turn and your strings are looking back. So from here, you can kind of, and the tip of the racket pointing up the sky. So from here, you could pull the tip of the racket, almost like along the ball. And you pull in the tip of the racket, you accelerate. That way you can snap the ball through here. And the snap is very powerful. And once you get to the contact point, contact point is the moment when you're touching, when your strings are touching the ball, you will snap the ball. You make a windshield wiper. Again, uni turn, full turn snap windshield wiper so the same motion as the windshield wipers on the car are doing this motion you do it and catch you catch it in between the pointy finger and the thumb of your left arm so as here your left one was holding the racket helping here it catches so you won't get completely flown away or something so you start with your shoes are pointing that direction you turn your heat now your shoes and your toes are pointing completely opposite direction. That is really important that you have to involve your whole right side. Again, turn, turn. Okay, so we're going to start with the exercise of fast feet and heat, that which involves just a split step, turn and heat. Fast feet, it means right in, in between the shots. Your feet are constantly working. I don't know if you can see my shoes, but your shoes are constantly off the ground. Okay, we're gonna go for 30 seconds. Ready? And we're gonna start in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, go. And turn. Good step, go. And turn. Good step, turn. Yes. So pay attention how Rina's knees are very low and she finishes with the bent right knee at the end so make sure that your right leg is not bent at the end that is very important you don't want to hurt your hip you don't want to hurt your knee and your ankle it's all connected it's called kinetic chain so by doing this turn and bending the knee at the end that prevents the injuries we're gonna go for two more seconds and stop okay perfect the next exercise is gonna be you will need markers for it so one, two, three. You will need three markers for that. And you can put the fourth one for the next exercise, but you only need three for now. What you're gonna do, you're gonna do the split step, turn, make a shot, then shuffle to the next marker, make a shot, turn, get back, make a shot, turn, and get all the way back. Okay, ready? Everybody, let's go. Come on. Repeat after me. Okay, we're going to do the split step. Turn. Go to the next one. Split step. Turn. Go to the next one. Split step. Turn. Go to the next one. Okay, one more time. When Rina is going to finish this one, we're going to learn how to do the inside out one. So, this is the last one. Yes. And yes. And. Rina is going to stay at the same cone, but now we're going to go in the opposite direction doing the forehand as well. So that's called inside out. We're doing the split step. Instead of moving 
making a step to your right, you're making a step to your left if you're righty, and opposite if you're lefty. And get back all the way to the first cone. Step on the right foot. Make sure that you set on the right foot, and you, again, the right foot is bent, and you finish on the right foot. And we're gonna do the third time. Yes, and last time. Okay, take a sip of water. Ooh. Now we're gonna merge both of these ones in one exercise. We're gonna start from this side. You're gonna make you're gonna make three shots. One, two, three, and now from the same spot you're gonna go one, two, three. Okay, again. So we're gonna go for 30 seconds. Ready? And go. One, two. Three and in the opposite direction. One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three. Make sure that you are involving your whole body. Your left arm is either straight or bent, but it's all the way over here. Hugging the tree is a really good exercise that helps you to set up. Great. Okay, we're gonna go for five seconds. Here we go. And done. Uh, okay, awesome job. Next exercise, as we said before, you will need four markers. What you're gonna do, it's sort of a liner. So you're gonna start at the first marker, gonna proceed to the next one, get back to the first one. Then to the second one, to the first one, and then to the last one, and get back to your starting point. So you're gonna start in 15 seconds and always get back to the green cone to your starting point. After we are done with this exercise, you're gonna do the same thing but with inside out shot. So you're gonna start in three, two, one, go. Okay, first marker, get back. Second marker, get back. Third marker, get back. Here we go. And all over again. First, second, and third here we go take it easy if you need to or if you feel feel free to speed up a little bit it's up to you it's up to if you feel like you're strong enough and you're fit enough you definitely can increase the pace again first exercise first marker second marker and third marker okay we've got five, uh, three seconds left so just take it easy and make that last shot Okay, now as I said, you're gonna start at the opposite corner and you're gonna, again, so the difference between normal shot and the inside out, you gotta create the angle for yourself. So when you go all the way around the ball and you're all about to hit the inside out, you gotta create the angle by turning your body more. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So exaggerate that turning motion. Okay, we're gonna start in three, Three, one, go. Here we go. Turn and to the first one. Okay, third marker to the first one. Last marker and to the first one. So to cover as much distance as possible, you just did two big shot, uh, two big steps. That really allows to save some time. Because what is really important in tennis to save time and to cover the distance faster than your opponent. And we've got three, two, one, done. Perfect. Okay. Very, very intense exercises following this one. It's gonna be a hop step. So you don't need the markers, you can just step off. What you need is just a little bit of space. Here we go. What you're gonna do, split step, turn, hit, get back. So you don't need some uh, space at all. You just need to do it very fast. Split step, turn. Split step, turn. Split step, turn. Okay, we're gonna start in five seconds. Oh, here we go, everybody, come on. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, go. Here we go, split step, turn, and go. Split step, turn, and go. So pay attention that your chin is looking up. The chin is not down, it's not looking on the side, it's not following the racket, it's following the ball. So your chin, your eyes are always on the ball. 
Okay, you stay concentrated. Imagine that you're hitting the ball and at the, at the contact point, your eyes are on the ball over here at the strings. Once, you, once the ball leaves the, the racket, we go further. Okay, three, two, one, done. Oh, okay. That's a hard exercise, I know. Okay, but we prepared for you something even harder. You will need two micros for this one. Take your time, put them two steps apart. Marker number one, marker number two. Everyone knows the exercise figure eight. What you wanna do, you, st you stand in between the markers, you do the split step, you turn, you hit the ball, you get around the marker. Split step, set, hit, get around the marker. So what you wanna do, you wanna go behind the marker. Split step, turn, hit, get around, split step, turn, hit, get back. Okay, we're gonna start in three, two, one, and ready, go. Here we go. Split step, go. Split step, go. Perfect. Again, you control your own pace. No rush. Make sure that you do it. Uh, do everything efficiently, and the quality. That's what may. Uh, that what matters right now. Again, make sure that you bring over your right foot. You shift your weight. You shift your weight from right leg to the left leg, so you can see how how Rina is bringing her right leg all the way in front. We've got three more seconds, and done. Okay. Come on. So we finished the tennis part for today. Awesome job. You should be sweating by now. You should feel really energized though, because you just burned a lot of calories, and. What we're gonna finish up with a cool down is any other lesson. You're gonna start from the top all the way to the bottom. You're gonna start with those arms that you just used for the shadowing. Make sure you bring your right arm over the left one. Left arm pushes the straight right one towards the chest. Make sure that you feel the stretching over here on the um, outer side of your shoulder. And switch arms. Now it's the same thing with your left one. Put the left one over your shoulder, or over your right uh, arm. You feel the stretching in your outer, or in your outer side of your left shoulder now. Maybe some neck muscles are involved. And last couple seconds. Good. We're gonna go to the back stretching. We did this one in the beginning, but it's a good exercise. Just lean over. You can put your legs a little bit apart and feel that stretching not just in the hamstring but also in the upper body in the lower back so you can make a lock with your arms with your elbows and kind of bounce forward to feel that stretch let it go swing from side to side good okay stay in the same position put your legs apart and lean over to your right foot here we go and we're gonna go for at least 20 seconds. That's the minimal time for the muscles to start stretching. And five more seconds left. You can find a perfect position. You know your body, uh, your body best than anyone else. So just find that perfect position. Okay, shift to another leg. Again, kind of move from side to side. Feel that stretching, not just in the glutes, but also in the uh, side side of your uh, left leg okay so again same position get into the lunge kind of load your left leg feel the stretching in your growing make sure that your body is staying straight your back is involved your core is involved your your back is not rounded or anything completely straight okay another leg feel that stretch Okay, and the last one we're gonna finish with flamingo stretching to relax those quads. Okay, so more elastic your muscles are, the less prone to injury they are, which is, that's the goal of all these lessons, right? To get more fit, to avoid the injury. Okay, switch legs, 
we're gonna go for last 15 seconds now already and keep your balance involve your right arm last couple of seconds stay in there stay with us and good job Ooh, wow everybody that was a great workout i am tired now that was fantastic everybody did a great job thank you for being with us today and thank you to coach Elvira to coaching us today thank you rena for demonstrating those exercises were really really good and rena is sweating and you should be sweating too so if you're done well you gotta work harder next time okay so thank you for being with us today and be be, be the exception be the exception <laughs>